Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Dave. Today we're going to be reacting to Midnight Grand Orchestra's new song. I believe the English translation is called uh, I'll Wait for the Night. Um, I don't know how to read the name in Japanese, but yeah, that is what the song is called in English. Midnight Grand Orchestra, of course, being the super duo group of Suisei Hoshimachi and Ino Itako or Ino Taku. I absolutely freaking love this band. It should come to no surprise since I am a huge Suisei fan. I've become a huge fan of Ino Taku through Suisei um, ever since I heard Suisei's song Sanji, Jun Sanji Junien, which was produced by Ino Taku. And then, of course, Suisei's most famous song, Stellar Stellar. It's no exaggeration to say that Suisei probably would not be worse she is today without Inutaku's help in producing some amazing bangers for her. With that being said, we're going to be uh, reacting to their new single. I believe it's going to be off their newest upcoming EP slash album. Starpeggio, that's what's called. There you go. I believe this song is going to be off of uh, that album. So we're going to be getting right into it. Hope you guys enjoy. This is a very interesting uh, animation style. I don't know what you call it. It's not. It's, it's not claymation. I don't think that's what it's called. Ooh, it is catchy. I love that very crunchy, dual guitar lead. <laughs> so we say just carrying Inotaku. Oh, uh, subtitles? No, no close captions. Sorry, guys. Also, a very crunchy, grungy bass. I love it. Ooh, some full sounding harmonies. This is always what's so impressive about every Midnight Grand Orchestra production. You know, Taku and Suisei do such a good job of making music that sounds... Oh, they always sound so full and there's always a lot going on in the back of the track. Like there's a lot of synths going on. There's like these like, there's dual harmony guitars in the back. There's some strings, tr shrills coming in and out. And yet at the same time, it feels simple. It's it's a weird feeling when listening to Midnight Grand Orchestra's music. You know, Taku does such a good job of making music that's catchy, sounding very. And there's a bit of a cool ambience. I don't know how to explain it. It's like a weird mix of almost like fusion with EDM. It's such a cool style that I'm so happy that. Um, him and Suisei have come together to make this unit. Also, this is a this is a very interesting animation style. This is so cool. This is such a cool beat, and I love this guitar lead. And these strings are beautiful. Okay, I need to know what's going on here. Why is Suze just carrying Inotaku around? Why is he a little boy? He looks like he doesn't want to be here. Ooh. Freaking Dalsum Suze? What's going on here? I love this little dance. <laughs> I love this jetpack smoke effect. Now this is the other thing I really love so much about Midnight Grand Orchestra's music is that it's very different from what you would expect out of a Suisei song. You know, you, you listen to most of Suisei's like solo music. You know, it's very catchy. It has your verse, chorus, verse, chorus. And of course, Midnight Grand Orchestra has a lot of that too, but they have this really chill vibe to the whole, to the music. Um, I know I kind of touched on that earlier um, when I mentioned that the music was very atmospheric, but it's it's kind of prevalent here. It, this almost feels like 
it gives me the same vibe that like a city pop or it's almost yeah it's almost like city pop where it's catchy but there's like a mellow feel to it but at the same time they get really complicated with some of the instrumentation wait you know talk about his music and i think it's it's just a cool style that's very prevalent in this song the song is catchy it's cute there's still a lot going on with the instrumentation definitely a lot of thought was put into how to convey the feeling and emotions of the song couple of that was sui say's catchy vocal lines and a very full sounding harmonies which i really really love uh, it's just it's such a cool mix Also, the way Inotako utilizes like synth pads is so just satisfying. I also love the way Inotako builds up, does build ups. I love in this entire video, Suisei is just dancing her herself away and Inotako is just, just there. He's just there. He's he's like, you know what, I worked my butt off making this track. I'm I'm done every physical activity. Whoa, big Suisei. Oh wow, that last run though. Oh, hold on. Suisei knows how to how she knows how to end songs. I gotta learn this guitar line. It's so catchy. <laughs> the little smirk from Inotaku. <laughs> He's like, yeah, you like that? You like this track, right? I bet you like it. Bra, bra freaking vote, man. That was such a cool song. So cute and so catchy. Midnight Grand Orchestra. I know this entire reaction has just been has just been me kind of shilling over this band, but I really do love this band. I love Suisei and uh, you know Taku came together and made like a band. It just really generally feels like a band and not just you know Suisei with you know Taku making music for her. Take a song like Stellar Stellar that you know, you know, Taku produce. Stylistically, it's still similar to what he normally would produce, like as far as production-wise, instrumentation-wise, and things like that. But at the same time, if you listen to Midnight Grand Orchestra's other music, it's still very different from what you would normally hear Suisei sing. There, there's a lot more focus, I think, on instrumentation, and also there's, there's a certain vibe to Midnight Grand Orchestra's music that I really like, and it's very different compared to Suisei's song, because of course it should. It's, it's their joint project together so there, there should be a bit of each personality mixed together um, which I really love. Fun thing to note about this track is Inotaku actually also wrote the lyrics on, on top of composing and arranging um, so man my, my guy worked composed and arranged the song on top of writing the lyrics. Inotaku needs more love um, he's such a brilliant composer He's one of the most unique composers and producers I have heard in recent times. His style is so unique. I don't think anyone could cop it from him. Yeah, I think there's still so much more from him that uh, we have yet to see. The song was freaking amazing. It was so, so cool, so catchy, um, such a feel good song. And it makes you want to learn the dance, the little dance that Suise was doing in the video. Maybe if I'm feeling confident one day, I would, I would do that. But yeah, that's going to be it for me today. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Make sure you guys go to Midnight Grand Orchestra's channel. Go to the original video, give them a like, thumbs up, let them know in the comments how great of a job they did. Make sure you show them all the love and support by subscribing to our channel, as well as sharing this video, not my video, but their video around everywhere. Um, if you want to share my video, that's totally fine, but I'd rather you uh, share the original video around first. Make sure they get all the credit and love they deserve. 
I am just a simple reactor reacting to their music. I don't deserve nearly enough credit as they do. So make sure you guys show them all the love and make sure you guys keep an eye out for their album release, Star Peggio. I believe it's supposed to be out digitally on December 13th. Um, so in about three months from now, holy cow, we're almost at December. My lord, I'm getting old. I'm definitely going to be looking forward to that, and I'm looking forward to what other singles they might release uh, in between, if they will. But if they do, I will definitely be here to react to those. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment on my video. Let me know if there's any other songs you would like to hear me react to. And I hope you guys have a good day. Bye.